The vast majority of what you read in the Old Testament covers a period of time from the creation of the world down to the Babylonian exile. There are portions that refer to what happened after the exile, like Ezra and Nehemiah, which are books that describe the restoration of Jerusalem, and we have a few other portions that take place after Nebuchadnezzar. But the bulk of this narrative takes us down to the destruction of Solomon's temple, where the dreams and aspirations of God's people are suddenly shattered. Of course, the tribe of Judah was not the only victim of Babylonian brutality. All of their neighbors had also felt the wrath of Nebuchadnezzar's armies. But for the Israelites, it was particularly humiliating. Their ancient father Abraham was a Chaldean who migrated to the Promised Land from the city of Ur. Abraham was promised that the entire region now known as the Holy Land would belong to his descendants, who would be as numberless as the grains of sand on a beach. Abraham's children were considered to be the bride of God, as the prophet Ezekiel explained after the Babylonian conquest. 